has been the journey so far. A grand arena gilded by blood. A giant slain. A toll paid in full. But before the king will help our rider, he must have his dead court. Okay, welcome everybody to my part 19 of the Darksiders 2 Definitive PS4 version. Okay, so okay, I want to show you something about the Draven. So you should remember uh, Dark Avengers, Dark Avenger. You see, if you read the description, this weapon is actually Draven. You know, I really wish I could just give the legendary weapon, you know, back to Draven because I'm telling that I don't need it. Okay, so um, I believe um, I have something that I need from Ostergaard because I saw. Sorry, I saw some uh, items that I need, you know. So you see, I have, this is what I like, defense, critical, strength. So the fourth, um, the best is health for me. So I'm just gonna equip this. Okay, so for this walkthrough, okay, uh, teleport, fast travel, sorry, fast travel to the mall. Okay, tomorrow here. Okay, so just fast travel there. Okay, and we'll do some things. Okay, since uh, let's talk about uh, Draven for now. So Draven itself, right? He's from the realm of the men, you know. So you know. So as I believe, he used to be. Uh, okay, first of all, I I just want to say this bridge, right? We go to the right first. Okay, not to confuse because. You should remember I left out something about um, right at the end. It's good to do it now because we can do the bloodless. You know, previously when you are here, we turn left. You know, we turn left, got the Bowman coin and everything. So just uh, come up here and get all these collectibles. Okay, and then we'll do the bloodless. The bloodless is somewhere around here. Okay, as I say, uh, for Draven, right? Draven himself, his story is like because he's dead, you know. Uh, a little bit like God of War Kratos. Okay, but trust me, Kratos is Kratos is way better than Draven. Draven got his name. I do not know if you guys watch uh, The Crow by Brandon Lee. You should remember the main character, Eric Draven, The Crow. So it's actually a reference from the uh, the Dark Siders creators. So he named him Draven. So now he is in the undead and then he served, I won't say he served, it's because his soul is trapped, okay? Okay, you have to know who are dead and who is in dead, you know? As I do mention Ostergaard, right? Ostergaard and death, you know, we, okay, we are not dead, you know, where the rest of the, um, how to say, it's characters in here, it's pretty much dead, you know? So, that... That's why I say Ostergaard do have some um, hidden power and then um, and he's very knowledgeable because he's a merchant um, all over the place. Okay, before I continue, first thing first, destroy and kill all these champions, okay? All of these champions, okay? Before we do the uh, Blacklist, because they are the one that is going to, you know, I feel a lot of uh, trouble much later. Okay, so I do mention about the Astika, okay. And then for Draven Wise, right, I mean he hopes, you know. There is a plot. Uh the DLC don't do much. I mean the bloodless. Um, it's actually okay, but first things first. Since we are bloodless, let's talk about bloodless. Okay, so you saw this invisible thing right now. Right now you can see this. So the the trick is like that. If you want to kill them, you have to equip um, this uh, bracelet, which is what the bloodless talisman. Okay, doing this, then you can see. See, then you know the reason is why the bloodless talisman is because. Okay, they are dead, you know, but surprisingly we are, we are, you know, we are ready to kill them, but, you know, and then all these bloodless, right, all these, um, say, there are three from the kingdom of the dead, three 
from the forge lair. Yeah. They are actually like the I do not know is it the plating, you know, plating or the bodyguards, you know, for the for the lot of the bones. So why Draven wants you to do this quest is because Draven itself, you know, he's he's pissed, okay? He's pissed that like he wanted more. You know, he wanna do more since he wanna command a large army and everything, but in Kingdom of the Dead, you know, he's you know, he's just like a servant to not even the Lord of Bones. It's more towards the Chancellor, you know, so he's pissed. So the Bloodless Quest, you know, since the DLC. It's like prompt like Raven want to like send a message out to a lot of the bones, you know, that okay I'm gonna kill as I say all these six uh, bloodless creatures, right? I do not know is it the playthings or the bodyguards as I do mention. That's why um Draven wants you to do all this. And then surprisingly uh death kind of respect. Driven because you still remember in the beginning, Death do mention that to you, um, Death is willing to give like you know, uh, Draven a uh, death blow because, um, how to say, in the first conversation, Draven mis you know, mistaken Death as you know, that he was sent by the Chancellor to kill him, and do not forget, Draven is also the other person. You know, who have fought the arena champion and won. So since we have already won, right? Way earlier, Draven has already won this arena champion, but he was treated as a servant. You know, uh, of course he's not like Death. He's dead. You know, eventually. So that's uh, pretty much about Draven. So there might be um, what is his intention? So if he can kill all these. Uh, bodyguards or playthings of the Lord of the Dead is just pissed, you know, just pissed this uh, King of the Dead. You know, okay, King of the Dead is actually Lord of the Bones, you know. Okay, and then the Astagard, as I was stick as I was saying, is like it's a lost race, you know, it's like somebody destroyed his family, destroyed all of his people, and even destroyed his world. And that is not the somebody, you know, it's not mentioned. That's why, I, that's why I, you know, I mean, the laws for Ostagard, I won't say it's pretty good, but that is a question mark. It's, it, it is a question mark for Ostagard, you know, nothing much to be talked about. Right? That's why I do hope maybe in Darksiders 3, or hopefully there is a Darksiders, or there is a Darksiders 3. Maybe it's next year, you know, since there's no announcement date, even today, okay, there's no announcement date, so... Darksiders 3, um, I believe it's next year, 2017, you know, so we hope we can touch a little bit on the Astagard since he's the most knowledgeable merchant around, you know, compared to Alir, uh, since he's only in the Forge land, you know, and then that, oh, there is a DLC, if you are willing to do the DLC, you know, which is the DLC, it's uh, pretty much off of the story. It means a uh, standalone story on its own. Okay. So, that is much about it. Draven is um, a little bit uh, disappointed because I hope that, you know, it's like we can, you know, for Draven Quest, right? Uh, the DLC, since it's only the Bloodless, you know, I was hoping it can be like uh, Khan, you know, how we do the corp with Khan. I do hope like maybe Draven is together with us. Oh there is another you know better um arena you know much 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 better arena than we uh Death and Draven would be in it, you know but so uh, that's it we only get the bloodless So the main thing that it says to do this, um, you need to point this together so you unlock everything. It looks simple, but in the, okay, I'm I'm gonna tell you in the PS3 days, this is the puzzle that you know I took a, quite a while, really quite a while, to capture this two stupid towers. You know.
okay, if you cannot uh, fast travel to and fro, right, the reason is because there might be enemies downstairs or around you. So you just have to kill the enemy and, you know, you can just fast travel. Okay, as you can see, I didn't edit this video, you know. So the fast travel thing. <gasps> Okay, this this will be a very short walkthrough. I just want to do it uh, to the executive, you know. Oh, they are the. By the way, the how would I say it? The three executive, right? Which uh, a lot of the bones wants us to summon. Right? So as I do mention about the Agu thing. So I believe um, Agu, you know, the Ice King, he also has something like that, but it was maybe manipulated or destroyed by the Charles uh, Okay, a lot of the bones, it's, uh, I don't think I can, there's quite a lot to talk about them, which I don't think I have enough time for that, so I'm gonna do it in the next walkthrough about the Lord of Bones. Very interesting facts also about um, him. And then it's just a simple thing, but you have no idea that I didn't fell off here. You know? uh, go to this edge and fell off. It looks very simple to you, right? But it takes me so long uh, to do this. You know, that's what I mean, I'm stuck in here for pretty long. When I was doing the PS3 version, I do not want to use a guide during my blind. When I'm playing the first time, or should I say blind? You know. So I'm gonna end my walkthrough here. Okay. Then I'll do uh, one complete chapter over this bit of the game, which I don't even know. Anything. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in part 20, if I believe, pretty soon. Take care and cheers.